at auction, I think this would sell for about twenty thousand dollars. What? Really? Yes. Wow, yeah. that's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed. <laughs> I bought them to sell, but my husband said, no, I want to keep those. And I said, okay, we can. It was your money anyway, so. <laughs> they belonged to an artist in Granbury. She died in 2006, and I went to her auction because she was a neighbor and fellow artist. I was trying to be cool, but the rest of the antiques at the sale were going crazy. So they started bidding at 50, but I thought, well, I'll just kind of sit here and wait and he dropped the bidding to $10, and then I bid 10, somebody bid 12, I bid 15, and he waited for somebody else to bid, and nobody else did, and so he said sold. And I said, okay, I'll take all four. And I've had them for 10 years, and we keep all our records, and we're a record player, and my husband has over a 1,000 records. Peter said that that was what specifically they were made for, to keep records and record players. So that's kind of perfect. Ha, ha, ha.